Drones are increasingly becoming part of our lives. In parts of the Philippines recently devastated by Typhoon Haiyan, drones equipped with small cameras proved vital in helping relief teams do their work. Data collected by the drones provides a clear overview of a damaged area, allowing aid agencies to assess the situation rather than having to walk or drive through debris. Body retrieval, uh, depending on uh, the zone, when the dogs find a, find, find a person, uh, it's not always in a very accessible zone, so this uh, allows the rescuers to, to find the best possible and swiftest pass possible to, to go and retrieve that body. One Danish-based high-tech firm deployed two drones over Tacloban, the worst affected area. Made from resistant plastic similar to that used in children's toys, the devices fold away into small cases. Each unit has a battery that allows it to run for up to 25 minutes. Its maximum range is 2 kilometers and it can travel as high as 150 meters. When, uh, when organizations uh, first saw it, uh, saw it here, they thought it was a bit of a toy. But when they realized uh, all the different uses you could do, like uh, body retrieval, road clearance, you name it, uh, I think this is a, a, a tool that will be used in every future disaster. While the data they provide is undeniably useful, such drones are a costly investment at 40,000 euros apiece. And their generalized use has raised serious concerns about the collection of data and privacy rights. It looks like a helicopter and flies like one. The Volocopter, as its inventors have named it, is intended to be the green alternative to the noisy, vibration-heavy, old-fashioned helicopter. The brainchild of three German inventors, this two-seater prototype recently made its maiden voyage in Karlsruhe, Germany. Instead of being kitted out with a combustion engine, it carries 18 electrically driven rotors to propel it. We're really pleased. Of course, we expect some technical problems as we're in the early stages of development. It took us one and a half years to build the complete structure, but we've already had so many positive results we didn't even expect. The Volocopter takes off and lands vertically just like a conventional helicopter. Powered by a 100 kilo battery, it can travel up to 100 kilometers an hour at an altitude of almost 2,000 meters. The major downside, however, is that it only has enough power to fly for 20 minutes. Its designers are working on ways to increase this. In three years, we'd like to build a small series of devices, and in five to six years' time, we're planning on a much larger series. But that would only be for airborne sports. Our bigger plan for the future is to create a means of transport for everyone. We believe that it will be available in 30, 40 or 50 years' time, and eventually almost anyone will be able to fly around with these. Further tests are needed before the device can go on the market. The team hopes to start selling its Volocopter by 2015 for 250,000 euros apiece. They're convinced it will radically change the way we move about the planet, providing a clean, safe and reliable means of transport. <laughs>